TII Technical Education Systems, Teaching Technology for Tomorrow. Okay, in this video what I want to show you is how to start to create animations for your Siemens HMI. So what I've done in TIA Portal V114 is set up a very basic timer function to give you an idea of how this works. So what I've done is I've just set up a basic input to control a timer on delay. All right? I've set up an accumulated time here of for named T Timer ACC. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 10 second time on here. So I'm going to type in 10,000, which will give you 10 seconds here. Okay. Now I've created my root screen, um, and I've gone ahead and thrown a basic conveyor in here to give us some idea of what the animation can look like out in the field. And setting up the animation, setting up the timers, putting an image, a graphic image on here, I have all of that information in different videos that I've made in this series for TII Technical Education Systems. So what I want to do is I'm just going to grab a, ran a random image. Okay, so for example, I'm going to grab this green motor and I'm going to act as if in whatever factory this is, we are shipping, we are running this product down the conveyor belt. Okay, so I've just grabbed this image here. All right? So now what I'm going to do is I want to double click on that motor I have is I'm going to go to its properties. And what I want to do, and you can basically all the same steps no matter what you put on there. I'm going to go to animation, and I want to add a new animation. All right? And so what I want to do is I'm going to scroll down to here, and I'm going to grab the move, the horizontal move right here. So I'm going to add this into it. And now I need to tag this to something. So I'm going to tag this to the accumulated value of that timer. And that'll be located in your PLC tags. So click on your default tag table. And then you do your timer ACC. And you, set, you select OK. And then this is tagged. And then you have to select what the range is. And basically what this will show you is how, what is the range from this tag to make this move. Select this. Then what you want to do is you want to grab this and you can move this down to here. All right. And this is the full length of the movement. So then your range is going to be from 0 to 10,000. So basically what I'm showing is that it's going to take 10 seconds, which is 10, which is 10,000 milliseconds, to move from this point to this point. Okay? So it's just going to go down there, and you'll be able to see that animation as the timer is accumulating. And believe it or not, this is actually ready to download. So let's go to our main OB1. We'll download this first. We'll go to our root screen, select this, and we'll go ahead and download this as well to the trainer. As you can see, my image is downloaded with my product on the conveyor belt. I'm going to slide this over and turn on my monitor function. Now you'll be able to monitor this time right here in comparison to the motion of the motor. So we'll go ahead and activate the timer with our left green push button on our TII Technical Education Systems uh, trainer. And as you can see, the conveyor is moving down the line and it's taking the full 10 seconds for it to move from the point where it starts to the point where it ends. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. I'm going to activate the left green push button, and you'll be able to watch how the accumulated value is changing in milliseconds and how that correlates to the, the animation, the motion on the screen. And you can see it's slightly bit glitchy. Okay, there's ways to change that to modify the, um, the, the uh, refresh rate on the screen but that can take up a little bit more memory. For our purposes, this is perfect.
And so setting up any basic motion, let it be vertical, let it be horizontal, let it be at an angle, these all basically operate exactly the same. And so um, here we're using the accumulated of a timer, but it could just as easily be a analog sensor coming from an ultrasonic sensor sensing the height of a tank or something like that. As you can see, Siemens makes it very easy to do animation on their HMI screens. Okay? Um, this was uh, Unit 22.1, uh, the TII Technical Education Siemens PLC and HMI Trainer. Thanks for watching.